we will start doing the exercise with our hardware. So we are here in the lab instruction, MC lab 18, UDB datagram. And then there is the picture, picture of the boards. So in this green card, the microcontroller board from us, this wireless LAN unit is connected directly on the pins, not in the pins zero and one in here. And the pins zero and one, this is the D one, this is the D zero. So remember one zero, although the other ones are all in the right order, D2, D3, D4, D5 and so on, but these are D1, D0. And then the tasks, you can open, there is a my code, which is done for this exercise. And then it's better to start with the code already now, so you can open the link and have a look what is explained in here and then import into compiler. It takes a while and then you can compile it and see that, okay, should be all right. And then we go down here and there is also in the code, there is an explanation of what needs to be connected. And here it is still that the, on the Olimex ESP unit, that this mod CV ESP A266, we use the pins, pin number three, pin number four for the serial communication. Pin number one for the 3.3 volts, pin number two for the ground. So one for the power, two for the ground. That's visible in here. So if you look at the board from this, let's say this side where the components are, it's one to nine here. So it is one, two, three, four, five, six. So in, in, in here as well. So one, three, five, seven, nine. and make sure that you connect it. One is the 3.3 volts, two is the ground, and then three is the receive, which you need to connect, of course, to the transmit on the microcontroller side. So that receive pin goes to the transmit pin. This transmit pin goes to the receive pin. And you need to find out that, how was it? Because, you know, that one, that one. So there is the transmit pin, there is the receive pin. Make sure that you got the transmit receive the right way around. So you, your task is now to modify the code. So the, what is this supposed to be? What is this supposed to be? And then in the code, this is told not in the main .cpp, but it is defined on the embed app JSON file. You can find from the program folder when you download the code from my example that there is the, in the embed app JSON, there are the definitions for our exercise. So this is an JSON formatted piece of text here. So there is always an, an like a name and a value pair. So this is a name. And then inside the parenthesis comes the value like this. This is the name, and then comes the value and the semicolon. The same, uh, sorry, a comma in here. 
name and the value and the comma and the next name and the value. And then in this JSON inside in here, so for the Wi-Fi SSID, there is the help and the value for the help. So this is just a text, could be anything. You can replace this with, with anything. It doesn't, it's, it's only for helping you. But then this is really the value. The, the program is taking this as an Wi-Fi SSD ID, the value, and the value is taken from here. So for your Wi-Fi network, you write the value instead of this x x x x x x so it is inside parentheses and inside the parentheses there is the parentheses the same way for the password so the password and the value for it and the y y y y y is your password then there is the esp rx pin so in that embed uh, operating system, there is a way that it is going through this file, this JSON file, and then getting a new value for that one. So replacing this one on the program code with that value. And the Rx pin is defined to be BB7. So this is for the ESP module, the Rx pin, and it's BB7. BB7 is that one. And it is the Rx pin. So it's the processor Rx pin, which is connected to the TX of the wireless LAN module. This is the Rx pin on the processor. And you replace that one with the, you need to find out yourself the D0 or D1. And then you can try out that if you can write here directly, for example, the D0, or should you write the, instead of the D0, if you should write the BA10. I'm not sure if it is capable of reading this D0 there, or do you need to write the BA10? You, you need to test it. And also you need to test it, which, or think about which way around these are, which one is the Rx, which one is the Dx. And then correct the code in here and correct the code in here. And then in the target override, uh, there is a certain file. And then there, in that file, we need to add their uh, uh, line. ESP provides default and the value is false. I, I don't know why this, but it needs to be there to get this working properly. I'm now in the compiler. I have copied my own example code in here and in the embed app JSON. I need to go and put the right values in that one, which one is the right pin and which one is the right pin. So and then those who are doing the wiring themselves, then how to know that what pin is what pin in here. So if you look at the picture in here and you have it from the side where there is the integrated chip, integrated chip there is no indication what pin is what pin. But in the other side, there is the, that's pin number 10, that's pin number two. 
So that one is pin number two. And then when you flip it the other way around, this one is your pin number one. Right. And that one you connect the pin number one. Then we look at the document, the uh, board semantic. And the board semantic in here tells that this is the connector. And on the connector, there's TX data, RX data. So receive, transmit. And the transmission is in pin number four. So two, four. So that's the transmission pin. And this needs to go to the receiver pin in the processor card and the receiver pin over there is your receiver pin in here and this one you need to define by writing there the PA then no not that one Compiler. So I would write here that this is the microcontroller RX, and this is the ESP module TX. I don't know who has done the 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 uh, class library, but they have called the ESP RX pin the pin which is the RX on the processor and the TX on the module. I will correct it in here as well. So this TX pin is the ESP module. Rx pin, and that's the microcontroller Tx pin. I hope I'm now, now the correct way around. And then the receive pin in here. Is that one, which is PA10. So B, A, N. Make sure that you put these the right way around. And then you correct that one as well. And then try to compile your code. So when you have changed these values to the correct ones, and then tested that you will get the time signal. If it works, all right, fine. If it doesn't, try to find the fault. I mean, there is, it's, it's, this is not that difficult. You just need to find out what's wrong. Either you are not connected to the VLAN network or somehow you won't get the, if you get the information that it is connecting to the VLAN, I mean, open the TerraTerm to have a look on this serial port on the compiler, on the processor serial port, so that what is it writing you to the console on the TerraTerm or put your some other program. And then if you recognize that it is connecting to the wireless LAN, but still it can't get the time signal, then you can try different NTP time servers. 
so I have been using the the the, the one in Finland. The it's a in a research center in Finland that one. And then there is also you can go into an I think that's an American service because it's in the government website. And then or, or in a dot com. And then you can also try different NTP time servers. But then anyway, then we go ahead further, just writing a report a little bit about testing if it worked or not. And then the next step is the UDP sending, receiving. <coughs> 